All right, folks. Welcome back to Adobe Live uh, for our second episode of the Voodoo Val and Cody Bear Franken Bear Design Off. <laughs> um, I hope everyone can hear us okay. I hope there's no issue with audio and things. We were having a slight issue with that just before the stream, so I hope that everyone can hear us okay. Um, I think we're going to have to wait for the slight delay just to double check on that. So I'm going to jump right into our intro and uh, pray to the streaming gods that we are good. And I'm not going to be blue today. That's yes. what I'm hoping. Um, I don't know if <laughs> no more was memes. Here. Ooh. I don't know if anyone was here yesterday, but I was frozen in a laugh. I was blue. Cody Bear was miming. We had a dance party. It was very, it was wild. It was a wild ride. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, if any of you are not familiar uh, with what this segment is all about, okay, Tim says we sound great. If Tim says we sound great, then we must sound great. So thank you very much, Tim. Um, essentially what we do for these design offs is uh, I always have a guest on every week and we do a cool, fun, kind of wacky art uh, a design off against each other um, in a friendly manner uh, and we invite all of you folks in chat to join us so um, mm -hmm. me and Cody are working on these weird Franken creatures um, this week and basically what we're doing is we're choosing an animal to start with and then you folks in chat suggest uh, animals to us and we're starting to add body parts and uh, features and things from all of your animal suggestions to our creature which yes. yesterday was bizarre um another thing i'd like to to do before we jump into um the actual creation of these uh freaks of nature um is to uh, kind of pass things over to cody um cody why don't you introduce yourself for those of the chat who maybe have never seen you before or a little unfamiliar with your work um and this time do not talk about the kind of pizza that you like because i was not <laughs> pleased yesterday and i don't want to talk about it anymore <laughs> Um, I like pineapple on pizza. Just oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, my name is Cody, a.k.a. Cody Bear online. Um, I am a children's illustrator. I draw a lot of, uh, like, animal characters. I draw a lot of bears, coincidentally. Um, and, uh, like, foresty, cutesy little illustrations. And uh, you can find me on Instagram mostly at Cody Bear, or you can check out my work on my Behance. And I also stream on Behance three times a week too. She is wonderful, can confirm, 10 out of 10 <laughs> broadcast. Um, but but then Cody and I have been knowing each other for for a, a handful of years now. We've been, yes. in, we've been in the streaming game a long time. Um, Indeed. <laughs> we have. Um, so one more uh, kind of note for everyone. Um, because, as I said, we, we encourage you folks to participate with us. If you have yes. any wacky designs and crazy character um, combinations that you draw with us today, we would love for you to share those with us on Twitter or, or on Instagram with the hashtag Adobe Live Design Off. Keith is like, ew, yeah, I know, I know, pineapple on pizza, man. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you guys can uh, use that hashtag to tweet to us. I already looked at the Instagram and Twitter, and I did see new artwork from you folks. So if you, oh nice, yeah, if you want a chance to have any of your wacky creations shown on the stream, get that uh, on social media to us with that hashtag before the end of the broadcast, because I'm gonna pull it up and I'm gonna show off all of your awesome work, um, and we can have a laugh at all of the wild animals we create. <laughs> um so let's jump into it shall we shall yeah we, shall we do this thing i'm i'm i haven't chosen an animal for today because yesterday i kind of enjoyed like being able to also choose my base from the chat right so i'm gonna go yours sorta is like walking jelly bean status yeah right now that's pretty much how all of my characters start walking jelly beans <laughs> Just walking jelly beans i i love it i love it um, so, so chat, give us some animals. Give us some animals. I'm also gonna brainstorm a little bit because if I if I think of something I might like better to start for the base, I would maybe choose my own idea. Um, but I'm trying to think of like, cause good animals for bases would be like kind of a large creature maybe, like mm -hmm. a large animal that you can add a lot of stuff to, um, like a bear. Um, or an elephant an is elephant. large. Yeah, is a good a whale one. is large. I that would be horrifying. <laughs> a whale. Maybe I will start with a whale. I don't know. I'm gonna sketch a whale and I'm gonna keep track of chat because maybe chat put something. Keith, in there I that actually, I, like I actually know what a quokka is. 
Um, I don't know I've never what drawn a one is. before. They're I've very cute. I've never cool. heard of that. I kind of want to give. I kind of want to make a whale with people legs. To be perfectly honest. <laughs> oh no. And that's. I know that that's horrifying. Um, and I don't even know if that's like really possible. But I'm just gonna. I'm sketching a whale for right now. Um, and we're gonna see where it takes us. Uh, a moose is good. That's excellent. That is an excellent uh, suggestion. A moose. Um, A narwhal. Woke up, almost look like bears, but they're rodents. <laughs> really? Like are they rodent sized yeah. or they, are they they're, are they rodent sized bears like, or bear sized they're rodents? Like this, <laughs> they're like this big. They're like okay. they're very cute. <laughs> okay. Cause I was really horrified for a second, because I think a rodent sized bear would be hilarious and adorable and I'd like to make friends with it. But a bear-sized rodent sounds like just a really bad sci-fi horror movie oh, yeah. that I don't want to be involved in in real life. So, a T-Rex, gonna... that's good. I'm gonna do some moose antlers. A ferret. I actually like a ferret. A fur snake. Ferrets are fur snakes. <laughs> um, Ferrets are so silly. Rhino is also a good one. I kind of like the idea of giving a creature the head of a rhino. And I, I see koala. Ooh, you know what? We might be doing koala body rhino head. Oh, there you go. That might be it. That might be the jam, folks. I'm gonna go on my, my merry way, sketching around. Um, you folks keep... Uh, keep putting ideas in the chat um, and we're gonna keep taking as many of these bizarre animals as we can and oh, uh, you know what? adding I to it. I am going to add an elephant trunk to this moose. Oh, that's character. horrifying. I'm gonna kind of try and make this koala like sitting cross-legged. How is that gonna work? I don't With know. With ostrich I legs? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't prepared for that one. <laughs> Miguel says man bear pig. <laughs> I'm, gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that reference on the down low and I'm gonna skip over it, but I see you, sir. I see you. <laughs> um, pangolins. Pangolins are actually legitimately awesome. Yeah, um, maybe they I really could are. Do, maybe I could do like the arms of, of a pangolin. Uh, on this weird koala. Let's see. If I make his body, like, leaning back, um, and maybe he has shoulders and his, his hands come down, and he has, like, those weird, like, pangolin claws. Oh, oh no, like the these... really long claws? Yeah, but these also look kind of like sloth arms. Sloth arms, absolutely. That's what I was thinking with the claws. Yeah. Oh yeah, that might that might be it. So he's kind of he's got like this big belly and he's kind of like he's chillaxin. I hope you guys are starting to see like how I'm meaning for this body to come across cuz if not, <laughs> this has got to look really really weird to you. I always wonder What kind wonder, of legs are you giving are you giving your character? I'm giving him like the like from the waist down, it's going to be like koala. Okay. So I'm going to go with ostrich legs. Okay. Yes. Definitely. So he's gonna have. We're gonna go thinner than the legs that I have on my base. Chloe says frog hands. Let's see. <laughs> like the <laughs> frog hands. Only the hands. <laughs> only the hands. Just like really, really long, shiny, waxy hands with like the the weird like uh, wide finger pads. Kind of. Yes. You know? <laughs> that just reminds me of the frog meme. That's like, hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. <laughs> hello, my ragtime so. gal. Ostrich legs, ostrich knees, rather, Sloth go backwards. Sloth pangolin actually sounds like a horrifying creature. That sounds like something that would be in, like, Magic the Gathering. The, the sloth <laughs> pangolins. Yes. I'm gonna put this arm a little bit lower here. Also, you guys, if you are going to make your own designs 
and you want to make your own interpretation of ours, I think that that would be pretty cool too. Ooh, that's an excellent idea. Yes, if somebody if somebody wants to choose like the exact uh, animal combination that we are Actually, doing you know for ours, and then and then see if they can create a different looking creature, that would yeah. be rad. I love it um, when artists, like a bunch of different artists, choose the same theme or the same. Um, uh, that's I really love uh, like the draw this in your style hashtag on Instagram. Oh yeah. Um, being able to see everyone's different styles drawing the same exact thing, it's so cool. Very. Um, I almost like I've done this weird little like uh, dig dug head thing or diglet head. As a Dig Dug is like a really old video game, but I always get it confused with the Diglets from Pokemon. Um, and it almost makes me want to do this. Um, and I'm just gonna let uh, somebody oh in chat guess what I'm doing. Um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and like change up the whole stream and say like, welcome to Adobe Live where the points don't matter anyways. And, and <laughs> go on <laughs> who's line. I hope there's who's line. Ho who's line. Chat. Um, but, uh, 10 points to Slytherin, <laughs> if you can guess exactly, like, the head that I'm putting on this. Is it an eagle? No, it's not. Oh. I really hope somebody gets it, because if nobody gets it, I'm going to feel like a nerd. Uh, be cool to turn that into a pigeon head. Yes! Which is derp eyes. Oh, that would be great. We could channel our inner Sid Wheeler. Sid Wheeler, do yeah. Some, uh, yeah. Do some, uh, some trash doves. Thousand points to Val, because I'm the only one that knows what it is. Is that why? <laughs> Chewbacca, thank you, Wade. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I'm leaving it as Chewbacca, I've decided. It's staying as Chewbacca. Chewbacca koala. It is. It's like Chewbacca with pangolin arms and like little tiny koala feet. It really, really weird how even though this is a combination of a bunch of different animals, it just looks like an actual Wookiee with shorter legs. Yeah, right? Not sure how I feel about that. I might, I might, I might actually change the head so people don't think I drew a Wookiee badly. <laughs> <laughs> Val, how could you? Yeah, I was like, ah, I'm sorry. Um, but we can very, very easily. Um, funny how just erasing the face and putting a beak then makes it a pigeon. Um, yeah. When before it was a, a Wookiee. Chat, give me an animal for this terrifying creature's arms. I need some arms. Or no arms. Maybe we don't give him arms. That <laughs> makes it worse. I'm gonna go You decide. Away. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say <laughs> that makes it way worse. And also I just put like nightmare fuel eyes on this pigeon and I'm I immediately erase them. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google pigeon. <laughs> Because Chloe says sort of Grinchy. He totally does look like the Grinch. He does. He's like a really a really pleasant Grinch, but you yeah. don't know if he looks pleasant because he's nice or because he has no idea where he is. <laughs> That's the vibe I'm getting from him. I uh, just found a picture of a pigeon wearing a small sun hat, and I think oh, that's good. gonna happen. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be. There's also a pigeon wearing a football helmet. Hmm. 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 Yeah, we need to accessorize our friends as well. Oh yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. That's a great idea. Trying to find, like... Bat wings? Oh my gosh. There we go. That's what we needed. Bat wings. Huh. Bat wings sounds really terrifying. And there you go, you've done it. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened. I'm still looking at, at uh... Pigeon reference because I don't think I realized how hard it would be to draw like a like a pigeon. Let's see. T Rex arms. I could do bat wings and T Rex arms, honestly. Why though? <laughs> Why? What? Okay, I guess that is like literally the like the the object of the game, but that's horrifying. <laughs> 
I think the way that we're gonna go with this pigeon is like eyes that see the universe. <laughs> Thousand yard stare. Yes, just this pigeon is in a whole nother state of mind. Let's see, T-Rex arms. I've never drawn T-Rex arms before. This should be interesting. Oh, that looks like a fly. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, he does. What Remember, have I, done? I think somebody yesterday suggested fly eyes. Yeah, so. but I don't know. I, I the fly eyes terrifies me, like beyond what I should be what I should be feeling for a drawing. I'm not <laughs> sure. I don't know. I'm feeling like this is portfolio material. Ah, uh, maybe you're right. I'm gonna get like a really fabulous concept art job for this. Absolutely. I'm gonna be like, hey, remember, like, I know you did, like, all those other projects and stuff. Remember that weird pigeon you drew? We need this that. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> Bring big pigeon energy to this project, please. That's what we're looking for. That's all we want. Oh, but the closer the beak is to the giant eyes, the more incredible this creature becomes. <laughs> Pigeon wearing sunglasses. I'm gonna give him little tiny spectacles, kind of like we were talking about yesterday, where mm -hmm. no matter what size eye and everything creatures have, you still give them like little specks or like headphones over their head, even though they have mm -hmm. large ears. I'm gonna yeah. give him like little specks that just sit in front of his eyes, over over the bridge of his beak. I'm gonna make it blue so it doesn't overlap with uh, the black that I'm putting on here. There we go. He's got little specks. Um, I'm gonna give him a tie so that the specks make sense. Oh, yes. Fancy. Because clearly this is a, a tie pigeon. That's the kind of... Every pigeon is a tie pigeon. You know what? You might be right. Maybe that's why they look confused all the time, because- Yeah, as, they're like, where's my tie? Much, yeah, as much as they love ties, they just never have one on. Mystery solved. Forgot to get dressed that day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Don't you hate it when you do that? You just walk out as a pigeon and forget to wear your pigeon tie? Happens <sighs> to me all the time. I'd be confused, too. Yeah, I'd be really upset. I'd be walking around waddling, shaking my head around, begging for bread, yeah. losing my mind. Exactly. That usually happens to me when I become confused. Mm -hmm. It's really uncomfortable for my family. Relatable. Um, <laughs> really, yeah. Octopus tentacles. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll think about it because I don't know how eldritch and terrifying I want this to become. It already, it already sees the universe, past, future, and present, and I don't know if it can also handle tentacles. Put the beak just above the eyes. Ah. I could try putting it in the middle of the eyes. I'm just trying also not to horrify myself. Um, I'm trying to survive the stream. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna put this on another layer. Layer via cut. Oops. Whoops. What did I do? So if you do layer via, uh, layer via cut, by the way, for anyone who might not know what that is, um, it takes your selection and puts it exactly where it already is, but isolated on its own layer. Um, and then you can hide that layer. So it takes it from one layer onto another layer without like pasting it off center. It stays where it was. And layer, layer via Leia. Um, layer <laughs> via copy does the same thing except it does not remove it from the original layer you just have a duplicate of the layer with only what was within the selection there for you um and it can be very useful oh i think i think definitely having the beak um more up in between the eyes makes him makes him look even cuter that's gonna I just happen. realize that moose antlers are below the ears, not above. So I need to move these babies down. Because of all of the things we're gonna keep anatomically correct. And, exactly. God I have to do. God forbid that the antlers are above the ears. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, 
it must be accurate. Yeah, it's got to be like we're not trying to we're not trying to mess around here, folks. This is very serious. I lean towards horror business. sometimes, so maybe not. Yeah, Wade, I was thinking. Well, I could because because you added tentacles to one of your creations on a previous episode, uh, Cody, and I oh thought it was yes, cute. the bear. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because somebody was like, add tentacles to the bear, and you were like, you got it. And I was like, how is she going to pull this off? And then it was adorable. It I was bring perfect. that up really fast. Here we go. There it is. Yes. That was the first Adobe Live. So cute. <laughs> I love your colors so much. Thanks. This looks like a lot. And then we go back to this little. monstrosity. Yeah, and then this this guy. Um, he looks nice, though. He looks pleasant. He's he's friendly. Mine he's looks a friend, like he's, he's a friendly guy. Your taxes. That's what mine looks like. <laughs> Uh, I kind of like his face, though. I'm kind of into it. Um, I feel like I should give him a hat. I feel like I should accessorize. Does anybody have any accessory? Uh, thing? Cat dog has left the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I know. I know. I used to. Uh, I used to watch that show all the time. Same. That, show, that show was a trip, and I was always like, why is this green rabbit everyone else in the city? Why is he <laughs> always... He's like the mailman, he's the guy that owns the taco shop, he's he's everybody. He's the he's, He works every place, everywhere. Uh, elephant should be carrying a Futurama lunchbox. That's really specific. That is very specific. I have actually never watched Futurama before, so oh, I don't know what no. that means. Oh, I would if I if you haven't watched it, I can't describe the show to you without getting a warning from the yeah. team. <laughs> I can't exactly. do it. I can't do it. Looks like a Phil or a Ben. For for mine, I feel like I feel like I like Phil. I I'm like gonna, Phil. I'm gonna I stay think away he, I think he's ben, a Phil. Because as soon as we start talking about Ben's, so I'm gonna go very Star Wars, and I'm trying not to. Oh, of course. Yeah. Even though I already drew a Wookiee, and it hasn't even been a whole thirty minutes. <laughs> It happens. Happens to the best of us. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Phil. There we go. Should we give Elephant Friend a shirt? Or how should we clothe this monstrosity here? I I don't know what is happening with his body. <laughs> I'm wondering just... if he if you know if he if he struggles to find tops that can accommodate his wings. Probably. You know? I wonder if that's a hassle for him. I think I'm gonna have the wings stay behind. There we go. I'm gonna look at pangolins. Steven says, I can kind of see both of those as as characters on Nick Jr. Probably total Muppet character. Thanks. I take that as a huge compliment. (laughs) Okay, um, pangolins have like that, the uh, scales that are awesome. Penguin yeah. scales look like fantasy, like high fantasy dragon scales. Yeah, exactly. They're, They're so super cool. cool. For those of you who maybe don't know what a pangolin is, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag this over here so you guys can see. This is a pangolin, um, and they're awesome. They're so cool, and then they roll up like a roly poly. Um, I don't think they move very fast, but in my mind, I like to imagine that they just power roll at top speed. <laughs> through the desert just exactly i need to move this leg up he is just not working but there we go a bikini top that would totally fit is it a girl i just assumed that it was a boy but it could it could definitely be a lovely lady maybe maybe this lovely lady is on the way to the beach or on her way to swim with phil Ha! Huh, maybe they know each other. Lore. The lore, folks. Also, I mean, uh, the drawing that I did yesterday, he's he's <gasps> a, a beach boy as well. Eugene. He's a surfer, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're right. Makes sense. Maybe they're all meeting up. All having a good time, hanging out. They're very good friends. Known each other since grammar school. Which could either be the start of like a really great 
rom-com or also the intro to it season three. Oh boy <laughs> Maybe the third installation we don't know which way this story is going we have no idea because it all starts the same I, I that dawned on me the other day that uh the new it movies kind of start out like a regular movie like does it kids, i've never seen it before yeah kids in a in a in a small town looking for acceptance trying to make new friends but then it just goes downhill <laughs> i was like oh this was really it was those movies were really weird because um they had like that cool like 80s vibe to them that i accustomed like i've been accustomed to when it comes to like coming of age comedies uh -huh. you know um and then it was so different um, I would say, I would say definitely after seeing that though, I was really inspired to do a lot of art. On mm. it. Um, well, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any Don't you love like that? that? You that... watch something. Yeah, totally. Yeah. You watch something and it's just like, wow, I need to draw right now. Right now. And it's like such a weird movie maybe that would, well, I guess if you're a fan of like scary movies, then maybe it's not weird, but, and I, I and obviously I'm a, I am a huge fan of scary movies, but I mm -hmm. never thought like sitting down to watch it in the theater would make me wish I had my iPad so bad. Like I was sitting there and I was, and I was like, oh, if I had my iPad right now, I'd be drawing this, but I can't. That's how you know that you've entered, I think, like, true art nerddom, right? <laughs> when everything that you do starts to make you wish that you could draw right now. Yeah. Uh, maybe give a tail to the little guy in the, on the left. Ooh. I'm on the left, right? Yeah, you are on the left. I feel like you maybe do need a tail. Sam says, I love how Cody's monstrosity is still cute. <laughs> I know, it's adorable. Mine's just getting more freakish and horrifying. Making me more and more uncomfortable. I need to make his legs longer. He needs to be on, like, stilts. That's, That's horrifying. How tall is this guy, though? Like, what's the scale here? Because hmm. I was imagining him already, like, six feet tall. Yeah. Uh... I... Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Oh... He's got big boy legs. <laughs> <laughs> A giant belt? Uh... Let's see. Bikini top would be funny, Isabella says. Overalls! Overalls would work for his wings, too. Get Phil some high heels, please. You got it. Phil does need some high heels. He does. Phil likes to have fun. He's not playing Absolutely. around. Phil just wants to have fun. Yeah. You know how they, like, what they say about, like, mullets, where it's, like, business in the front, party in the back? Oh, absolutely. Phil is, like, business on top, ballroom on the bottom. That's, like, <laughs> that's his motto. That's how it works with him. What kind of tail should I give my creature? That's like, the real question. Like a dragon tail or something? Oh, that's dragon I, tail? That's what I imagined, but maybe chat uh -huh. has other ideas. What do you guys think? Like a... We could do a dog tail, a dragon, a, a lion tail, a cat tail. A scorpion tail. Scorpion, that's a good one. We did a chameleon tail yesterday. A little curly dude. Looked like a cinnamon bun. Rhoda, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thanks for joining us. Yo, yo, welcome in. I am kind of changing the foot stance of my of my guy here. Uh, maybe I'll just make him sitting like just with his knees up because I kind of like dolphin kinda tail. Like oh my goodness! Why? <laughs> You guys come up with- because I, I can't be mad because I literally started the stream and invited all of you here to do this. It's but all Val's fault, I'm, really. Yeah, it, it literally <laughs> is. But I, I really, like, am often shocked by what people choose. I, like, that didn't even occur to me Never. as a thing to choose. But it, like, I feel like I have to see what it's gonna look like now, because now oh, I'm man. curious. Oh my goodness, I don't know if that- oh, I don't know if I can pull that off. 
Just a that is going to be a struggle. A dolphin tail? Phil has like really thick legs. <laughs> they're it works they're out. very they're powerful. Yeah. Trying to channel like my inner Cody, because Cody you always do like these really cute, like like wide legs that end oh, in like yeah. these boxy shoes that I love. Yeah, I usually draw my feet just like, when I draw the original sketch, like uh -huh. the initial sketch, I'll just do the legs like a rectangle like this uh -huh. and do the foot straight across ah, the line okay. connecting. And then I'll usually just like connect with like a little uh, triangle little like that. Yeah. Cool, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do like a modified version cause I'm gonna make my, I'm gonna make my, like my feet look like little boots uh-huh you know i feel like i so somebody said somebody said uh high heels but i almost feel like i want to give them like rain boots for no reason oh yeah know? rain boots are cute because i've given them these little like rounded squarish feet um and they look like boots and i feel like he's definitely the kind of guy that would be wearing like like rain boots with like knee-high socks <laughs> you know? That's adorable. I'm like on this knee high sock kick, but like not attractive knee high socks. Like like like, like SpongeBob. Like '80s gym socks. Yeah, you know? totally. SpongeBob exactly. And the and the, the the rain boots have like those little you know the kids rain boots that have like the, the little, little pulls. pulleys. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. That's how I draw all my rain boots too. I love it. Phil looks like a chill dude. Phil is a chill dude. He's super cool. Phil is chill. Phil is chill. Hashtag. Wow. Wow. Whoa. That was catchy. That was very, very cool. <laughs> it's not even your drawing and you're coming up with slogans for my guy. I'm... I'm slacking. I'm behind. All right, what is the time like? Uh, oh, I need to draw the tail. I totally forgot. I was like totally sidetracked. Okay. What are you doing, Cody? Come on. Um, I know, right? Ugh. Oh, gosh. Professional streamer over here. I know. We do this for a living. Can you tell? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what people might think after yesterday. That was, I'm still like, I still, I still think about it and I like laugh because it does make me laugh, but I also, <laughs> As soon as I looked up and saw it was blue, I was like, what's, that's my life. <laughs> what's happening? It so somebody boots. wanted me yes. to draw a lunchbox earlier. So I'm going to have him holding a little lunchbox. Maybe he's on his way to school. I think he's on he his could way be. To how old is, how old is he? He's just tall for his age. That's all. Oh, okay. Cause I feel like, I feel like Phil definitely gives like a, I'm 47. Vibe. <laughs> I'm 47 and these pants are too tight. Like, that's the vibe I get from Phil. But nobody says anything because he's such a nice guy. Exactly. You know? Alright, I kind of need to accessorize a little more. put in like the open legs of Phil's pants here because he's got his knees up so I just want to show that he has like pants on I think that these pants are very high-waisted mm yes they come up to like rib cage like under his rib cage and obviously he's wearing a very well-to-do belt because that's something that, you know, a guy like Phil would wear. I think I'm going to go with the dragon tail. Let's oh yeah. Try this. I'm out. so excited. 
Um, to hold okay. up his undies. Oh, like suspenders? Oh, Isabella, you're a genius. Yeah, here we go. Big, strong stroke, friends. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I love that. I don't know if that's a reference to something, but I it. Liked wasn't. It wasn't. I was <laughs> just talking out loud, doing that a big, strong stroke. Big, strong stroke, friends. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And whoop. Here we go. <laughs> You're uh you're a wonderful person, Cody. This is so much fun. Thank you. I love it. All right, there are fill suspenders. I'm gonna give him some wee little buckles. Wee little buckles. I don't know why sorry, I said that. that. Yeah, with like a Scottish accent. I'm not sure why that was necessary, but. What's Cody's creature's name? Uh, he doesn't have a name yet. You guys can name him. Yeah, name him. And um... I'll put his I'll put his little name on his lunchbox. Oh, yeah! That would be perfect! Oh, how sweet! This his mom cute. put it on his lunchbox for him. I love oh, this. Oh, mom looks like. Imagine what both of his parents look like. I don't want to. <laughs> don't make me do that. Do not make me. <laughs> and let's do like a little. Uh, I almost want to give Phil a name tag. <laughs> like, I feel like you should be wearing a name tag. <laughs> Hello, like, my name is Phil. Yeah. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Sam says Bartholomew. Charlie, oh Benji, Jonas. <laughs> Benji sounds adorable, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Jonas as well. I think um, if Sam's able to, I feel like we should do a straw poll. Oh yeah, do we have time for a poll? I think we do. Do we want to do a straw poll, Sam? Because I feel like that would be awesome. Straw polls are for fun. short. Bartholomew and then Bart for short. That's Bart. <laughs> That's adorable. I bet he's employee of the month. Oh, Phil is absolutely employee of the month multiple totally. months in a row. People Where are does jealous. He I, I think I mentioned that he does taxes, but oh, he, yes. could also, he could also be uh, head of uh, water administration. Mm -hmm. I just came up with that. <laughs> he does both. Yeah. His, both. his own personal business is mm -hmm. he does taxes. He's a CPA, but his day job is um, yes, working for the water company. He does taxes for fun. Yeah. That's his pastime. He loves it. Nobody understands Just choose why. the suggestions from chat. Yeah, sure, Sam. Just, like, pick whichever ones that they throw in there. And, uh, we'll have- we'll have chat, uh, vote. Sounds awesome. Phil is so- he's so pleasant. He looks so nice. Such a nice guy. So I gotta write this down, cause I, I'm kind of like, I think I just did like Pigeon and Pangolin, cause I kind of ditched the, uh... I'm gonna say human, cause I just gave him like thick people legs again. Oh, I don't know why I keep mm -hmm. doing that. Okay, so... Yeah, I got a lot here. I got moose. Pigeon, Pangolin. Elephant. Ostrich. I think I spelled ostrich incorrectly. That is fine. Nobody look. No, I can't that. see it. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> drag. Oop, I almost spelled dragon wrong. <laughs> dragon, I think. Oh, T-Rex also. T-Rex. And his head shape, I have no idea where that comes from. I guess that's kind of moose-ish. I added 
pigeon, pangolin, human, and tax professional. <laughs> that's that's where all the that's where all the accessories come from. I will put student down Ooh, for my option. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh, lots of boats. Benji and Bart are tied. Oh. Let me refresh. Yeah. And let me see how much time we have. We've got about 10 minutes. So I would say if anyone has done any art with us today, now is the oh. time to check it out. Uh, and I completely forgot about that. I yeah. love to see the submissions. Post and see if you can uh, post it to Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag Adobe Live Design Off because we are going to be taking a peek. I'm gonna pop over and I'm gonna look real quick to see if we have any new ones. And we do. Nice. Oh yeah. I'll look over on Instagram. We got two new ones on Twitter. Oh, I just flipped my canvas for the first time. He is so skewed. <laughs> oh no. Sometimes I can't even allow myself to, to, to flip it. I just you just don't it. even want to see it. No, just it's like, it's been too long. Too painful. Forget it. Not gonna do it. Not gonna happen. <laughs> His bat wings are like, how do you fly with those? All right, let's see. Bill was actually starting to look like a character with a cool personality. Thank you. I appreciate it. Two of the cutest bestiaries I've seen in a while. Thank Aww. you. Aww. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, uh, Phil is the kind of guy that would, like, hide roses in your locker and never tell you they came from him. That's the Aww. kind of guy Phil is. He's, he's that kind of sweet dude. Yeah, that's adorable. And it, and it would just, it would it would make his day only to see that you got him, but he's too scared to tell you he loves you. Aww. <laughs> Poor Phil. I know. There we go. That's a little better. Oh, I've missed what all a... the fun. It is okay, Steve. What are we looking at the straw poll here? Oh, um, Benji and Bart are tied. So if one more person wants to yeah. wants to vote. Definitely. Um, also, I am going to pop over and pull up the um, the designs from the community. Um, I'm gonna full screen my fill over here so you guys can see them. This is my pigeon pangolin human slash tax professional wearing uh, <laughs> rubber rain booties. He um, totally does have human legs. Oh my gosh. He uh, he's very sweet. He's, he's, he's a very nice guy. Um, and I'm also very excited for yours um, because he uh, he's very cute. He's got his little lunchbox. And we still have to put a name on that lunchbox, guys. Yes. So um, uh, definitely Bart vote. or Benji. Yep. Um, and while you're doing that, I'm going to come over here to our stream. Um, and I'm going to hide. Oh, no, this is perfect. I'm going to pull up... Um, Bart. His name is Bart. Yay! Um, so I'm pulling up um, our our stuff from Twitter, um, and I'm gonna highlight what we got yesterday. Um, also, I also want to highlight Dama-chan did a really cool thing for our goblins uh, thing that I did oh. with Wade. Yeah. Um, and did like a whole kind of comic thing saying that goblins always get a hard time in video games and storylines, but she doesn't think that they're so bad. And it was like a Aww. really cool, like, super brave goblin fighting, like, hyenas. And like, oh, that's protecting, awesome. protecting his family. And it was like really cool. So well done, Dama-chan. Um, also well done, Laura. 
uh, who posted these beautiful daily projects with this uh, this lovely deer, um, wow. this lovely fawn. Um, and then we got the uh, Snarless. That was the, <laughs> the snail walrus that is horrifying, and I love it. I love um, it. So this good. from Tom50. Uh, and then we got the corgi duck frog from Chad, Chad Rolfs. Oh, Sam says music got really loud all of a sudden. Oh, really? Let me let me crank that down. There we go. We got the corgi duck frog from uh, from Chad. That is utterly terrifying. It's also wearing people shoes and it has <laughs> human eyes. And I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> but very, very cool, Chad. Thank you so much. And then we got this new one. This is from uh, Devlin, um, who did. It looks like it's a donkey, rabbit, giraffe, dragon. That's what that looks like. Wow. Oh, it's the love child of Kerfuffle Bun and Jarama. Oh. Hatched from a blob. Fear its majesty. That's what. That's what it says. <laughs> <laughs> I love it! So this is a Fantastic. combination of our two creatures from yesterday that we did. Oh my um, goodness. And it makes my day. There's also the blob that it hatched from, with just the baby head attached to the blob, which is great, and it makes my day. And then we got this lovely one from Dama, um, says, I did her take away with the bunny, pineapple pizza, and antler as a tail, uh, with her Forever 21 top. This is hilarious. So there's- Yes. The, oh no. This is really cute, so I can't be mad about the pizza. Um, but I, I really love it. I think this is super cool, so thank you very much, Dama-chan. Um, and then- Oh my god, Chad Ralph, he detailed- the corgi human frog thing. Oh! Ah! Oh my god! It's like really oh. good, but it's like, it like really scares me. It's this so is, good. I love that like the frog arms come out as like have frog skin underneath the dog hair and the part of the stomach of the frog is still frog. green. Frog arms are so skinny. <laughs> and then the people legs with the sneakers and the duck bill on the dog. Ah. It's like, it's really good, but it's like, really, like if I saw this thing in real life, I would have a serious problem immediately. Basically, the more it horrifies us, the better it is. Yes, yes. So, so very well done. Um, Chad, this is awesome. Thank you so much. You put a lot of effort into this, man. This is great. Uh, and then I think that's all we got on Twitter, so I'm gonna, um, peek over here just in case we got a new one. I don't think we got any more on Instagram, but I'm gonna refresh real quick, um, and see if any new ones popped up. I know they didn't, but we're gonna take a peek at the, um, the Elder Crusher shaped Naruto run guy, because he's great. Oh, he's adorable. He's super funny. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna also come over here and I'm gonna full screen yours, because I know that you just did, um, add the, uh, oh yeah, the, and it the is name. his little name. And he's beautiful and precious and perfect, and I love him. Um, but <laughs> that is T-Rex arms. Yes, that is. I like how they just like they're pleasant. Yeah, like pleasant <laughs> little T-Rex grabby hands. They're grabby really hands. cute. I like that he only has like two fingers. Mm -hmm. This is just perfect. Um, uh, Viola says beautiful monster. Yes, I agree. Um, but that is all the time that we have for today. I wish we could stay longer and make more uh, horrifying and adorable uh, monster mashes. Yes. Um, that dragon tail is really good, by the way. I love that. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we do have to take off. Um, so, Cody, why don't you let everybody know where they can find you online if they'd like to check out more of your work? Sure. Um, yeah, you can find me on Instagram mostly, just at Cody Bear. Um, and of course, you can also find me on Behance. Uh, I'm at Cody Bear there as well. I stream there uh, three times a week. Um, and my Twitter is at Cody Bear's Cave, although I'm not as active there, but I do post there um, when I go live and things like that. Uh, and you can find me on Instagram as well. I post a lot of my artwork over there on Behance, obviously. Um, and then you can join me on Twitter if you want, if you dare. For <laughs> the some memes. Time, yeah, for sometimes art and mostly mostly memes and Star Wars rants. I don't know if that is, strikes your fancy, but if it does, I'm over there. Um, and as Steve Festus Costaboom says, uh, we actually have the some of the Australian designers coming up mm. after us, so please stick around and support our uh, loving friends in Australia. Check out yeah. the stream. Um, but that's all we have for you 
uh, for this segment, folks. So Cody Bear, thank you very much for joining me. It was an absolute blast. Thank uh, you for having me, Val. I appreciate it. Absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you, chat, for joining us and for suggesting uh, crazy, wacky things for us to add to these bizarre creatures. Um, and we will see you around. All right. Adios, folks. Bye, guys.